Welcome into another edition of PTN Face Off, the show where we make enemies of friends. I don't know, that should be our slogan because it kind of feels like it is. We have a great topic for you guys this week, but we have to announce the winner of last week first. It was, should the Texas A&M game stay in Arlington or move to a home and home? And Tom Murphy won with the home and home argument. So that is who won, but we've got great guests this week as well. On this side of me, Andrew Hutchinson, the managing editor of Best of Arkansas Sports, and on this side, sports writer for Hogville.net, Dudley Dawson. Are you guys ready to go? I'm going to go over the rules really quick since you guys are new to this. You get 90 seconds to argue your point. That's it. 90 seconds, I will cut you off. And that's about it. Y'all ready to hear what we're talking about this week? Cool, cool. We are talking about who is the best Arkansas football coach of all time. Andrew, I'm going to let you go first with this one because A comes before D in the alphabet. Andrew, your time begins now. Yeah, so this really isn't a debatable topic. Uh, Dudley's answer here is probably the rightful choice, but I can make a case for Lou Holtz. I think he sometimes gets overlooked because he did follow the legend that was Frank Broyles, uh, but he is great in his own right. I mean, here, y'all know me. If you follow my work, I'm a big stats guy, and I had to dig up some numbers to really make this case. and. Uh, I think I found a few. So first of all, obviously, Lou Holtz's overall winning percentage was higher. Uh, didn't have quite as long of a tenure as Frank Broyles did, uh, but he did have a higher winning percentage. Uh, he inherited a team that had gone 500 the year before, and then dang year won a national championship in his first year in 1977. Uh, I think the people always remember that 78 Orange Bowl. Uh, they had their three, arguably their three best players, their top two running backs, Ben Cowens, Michael Forrest, and their top receiver, Donnie Bobo, were suspended for the game. They were playing the, I believe, defending national champions, coached by Barry Switzer in Oklahoma. And they go seconds. out and they dominate that game. They win that game behind 205 rushing yards by Roland Sales. Uh, he also had a better winning percentage against AP opponents by one percentage point, but granted, still higher. He had a winning record in bowl games. Not many coaches in uh, Arkansas history can say that, including Frank Broyles. He actually had a losing record in bowl games. And then, of course, he also uh, went on. I know we're talking about his time at Arkansas, but he did win a national championship at Notre Dame. And so. your time is up. You make a convincing argument for Lou Holtz. I'm going to give you that, Andrew. But Dudley, we got to hear what yours is. Andrew kind of teased it, what your answer might be. But let's hear it. Your time begins now. Well, first of all, I'm honored to be uh, debating Andrew. He's grown into a, a great young man, husband and father and, and a journalist. And, and I'm just, you know, it's, it's very nice to do this. Of course, you're wrong. Uh, you know, as you said, uh, you know, I thought about this, uh, you know, for about 10 seconds and uh, thought, well, you know, the obvious answer, you know, would be what I'm going to come up with. But then I looked at it, Bobby Petrino, you know, great offensive mind, maybe not the, the best off the field, but certainly he was a, a tactician on the field. You got to give him credit. Houston Nutt, you, you've got to put him in there somewhere. I mean, this is a master motivator. I think he could sell swimsuits to nuts. I mean, he, he just, you know, would be, get Arkansas up for a big game. Uh, Ken Hatfield, you know, a great man, great coach. He certainly is in there. And you could throw a few others down the line, but when it comes down to, to making the decision, it is Frank Bross, not only for what he did on the field, but what he did off the field. Uh, he gathered his state together and it made, it made it a, a great thing. 149, 149 wins, uh, one national championship, seven Southwest Conference championships, and he was in the top 10 nine times out of 18 years. Well, okay, that's it. Mic drop, right? That's <laughs> I love it. You went under your time, actually. So, okay. You've heard the arguments. Now it's time for you guys to vote on who you think won this face-off. Are you with Andrew and Lou Holtz? Or are you with Dudley and Frank Broyles? Go vote right now on hogville.net to cast your vote. And we will see you guys next week for another PTN face-off.